Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first monthly plan with me in my 2022 reading journal. I am super excited to share these spreads with you even though it is coming at you a little bit late. I decided to go for a bunny theme since I read the book in December and absolutely loved it. Like I totally get the hype now. It's such a stunning book. But yeah, I was actually originally going to do a Little Prince theme because I bought some stunning stickers, but um, I just had to do Bunny. After reading that book, I just had to. But yeah, anyways, I am starting out with my cover page and I actually tried to recreate the cover of the book of the edition that I had. So um, I sketched out this bunny. Actually, I printed out a picture of the book cover and then like put pencil on the back of it and then traced it um, to get that bunny there. And then I colored it in using a Tombow brush pen. I'll leave the exact color in the description if you're interested. And then I used some black paper and a pink gel pen for all of the headers and wrote in a font that kind of mimicked the font on the book cover. And obviously I used black and pink because those are the colors of the book cover and I'm obsessed with it. I think it looks stunning. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of recreate the cover of the book and overall the essence, if you know what I mean. So the next to my cover page, I always do my TBR. And for this month, I decided to glue in a piece of lined paper and it's folded. And so on the front of that, I just wrote out the invitation that Samantha gets to the Smut Salon. Um, if you've read Bunny, you'll get it. If you know, you know, ick yick, you know. <laughs> and then I used a piece of white grid washi tape to like secure that down. And then inside of that, I will just write my TBR for the month. And yeah, I think it's stunning. I love it. I think it ties in the book really well. And I'm, I'm so excited to use these spreads. Like I can't even explain. Okay, so the next spread is my days read and monthly stats tracker. Um, I used to track my days reading in both physical and audio formats, but I haven't read an audiobook or listened to an audiobook in a few months now, so I thought that was kind of pointless to use like a full page for that. So I decided to just track my reading on one page instead. And so I drew out this little calendar and it's so satisfying watching me draw that out. Like, <sighs> So good. And then I can just color in a box every day that I read because we love a coloring in moment over here. <laughs> And then next to my days read, I am trying something new. I've never actually done this before, but I've included a monthly stats page where I can track the total books read, the total pages read, and then how many books I rated each star. But yeah, I think it would just be interesting to look back at the end of the year um, and it'll be easier to collect that data uh, for more of like my year end type of stats.
going back to my days red, I printed out these little bunnies from the internet. I just like Google searched cute cartoon bunnies or something like that. And so I put one of them on that spread and then I wrote my favorite quote from the book, we never joke about bunnies, bunny. The next spread I'm working on is my books red spread. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to do this. In my 2021 journal, I would print out the book covers and glue them in there. But in my 2022 journal, I already have a place to glue in the book covers. So I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work. We'll test it out for this month and maybe things will change. But yeah, I just have the simple title up at the top. I put some washi down on the bottom and I glued in another one of those bunnies. The next spread I'm working on is my favorite quotes page. This is just a place for me to write down all my favorite quotes from all the books that I read throughout the month. And so I just put in the title in the bottom and then added another little bunny next to that. Here I am going back to my monthly stats page and just adding a little bit of washi. It felt a little bit bland, so I just went back and added a little bit more decoration. So those are all my spreads for January 2022 in my reading journal. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It helps out so much with my channel. And if you want to see more content from me, make sure to subscribe. I make bookish and journaling videos here on YouTube. I hope you're having a good day or night wherever you are in time and space, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!